Prosperity is a consequence of alignment. It's not really a message. Say, when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all other things will happen to you. He said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord his God, and on his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his foot in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth is a consequence, is a consequence of alignment. The consequence of alignment. The ark of God killed Uzzah because David and the people trying to bring the ark into the city forgot the divine order associated with the transportation of the ark. And then after Uzzah died, they were looking for somebody that if he dies, they will not cry. They now say Obededon is the person. So they drop the ark, the ark in his house. Say if if this one dies, there's, there's no problem. The man, they dropped the ark in his house not for good reasons. The guy now discovered how to interact with the God of the ark, and he was worshiping him, respecting him. In fact, the whole household he sanctified them. They began to give praise quietly, and then the result of that alignment was prosperity. The moment, oh my, I don't have time. That's the result. Then they now heard again that the ark has made the man prosper. Instantly, they came out. It's a result of alignment. Don't look for what is not lost. It was not Adam's post that fell in the Garden of Eden. It was not his pocket that became it's not the coins he carried it was the opportunity for him to function in God's kingdom that he no longer had access to if you align yourself with that kingdom you will prosper you will prosper and he say whatsoever he lays his hand upon to do that 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 means like me now, I'm not a businessman. I'm in ministry. But I have prospered. Do you understand? So all of us don't need to be business people to prosper. We don't need to be chasing money to prosper. All, all of us. Meanwhile, there are those among us that have the anointing and calling from God to, to that economic area. But all of us, if we are aligned with God, where he has placed you, you will prosper. It's a consequence of alignment. 